let's get to the WNBA. And Kaitlyn Clark, my God. <sighs> I know none of us control social media, so we can't really just force social media to go our way. I tell my wife all the time, when you put something out, they're going to cheer it and boo it. Not one tweet ever is universally absolutely loved or hated. Okay? Nothing you're going to say, everybody like this, yes or no. Just the way it goes. Sports teaches you that. Every time you walk into that arena, somebody on your side and somebody against your ass. Simple as that. So let's look how God. Y'all know I'm not a fan of the WNBA for one reason. It ain't a good product. Y'all try to make it way deeper, try to take it all these other places, try to put me phobic, try to say, ah, oh, you don't like women's sports. No, I don't. Not all of them. And guess what? Oh my God, you ready? I don't like all men's sports, you stupid. <laughs> I only like what I like. And I don't like WNBA. I like college girls basketball. I don't know what happens in that transition. Oh, yes, I do know what happens. This is part of what happens. Show me this contract. Godly. Woo! Caitlin Clark. The key number here is not any of them but that number one. This means this is the most. Try and get my voice back. Um, coach's voice. Number one, Indiana Fever. All right. You got to pay me a whole lot. <laughs> Rookie contract, four years, 338 and 56. 338,056. What? Wait a second. Four years, 338. Oh, okay. So at, at the bottom of it, it should say 1.3 or something. Nah, dog. You got to bust down that 338. Shit, <laughs> what the fuck? I got drafted in 1997. Different business. Watch me. My signing bonus in the second round, so it didn't say number one, it said 52, was $500,000 back then. We talked about 30 years ago, damn near, and I'm number 52, and I'm a pro athlete versus this. You number one. And not only number one, household name number one. Ah, what business are you in? We got to raise our daughters different. Let's talk. 2024, 76, 78, 85, 97, and that's the option. I ain't making 100,000 ever in this deal. The highest paid player is 242,000. Okay, we can get rid of that. I am not ridiculing the WA NBA. What I am criticizing is how are y'all running y'all business? Because that ain't it. And I'm also criticizing anybody who plays there and says they want fair compensation based on their gender. You ain't getting no fair compensation because you a woman or no man. You better go get it with your muscle. Want to know why? There are some men's sports that ain't getting paid. Pickleball is starting to go like this, right? But where it is right now, go be a pro pickleball player and see how much money you make it, man or woman. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. There was a day the NFL wasn't making that money. That's why they had so many damn boxers out here. 60s and 70s and a little bit of the 80s. Sugar Ray Leonard and Muhammad Ali. Them dudes could have been cornerbacks and linebackers. <laughs> they like, hell no. Nah. They ain't making no money in the NFL. Let him in now, Bogrovsky Br and Buckus. Man, they ain't making $9. Y'all silly trying to always make this about, y'all don't like girls. Nah. People don't like women's basketball at the highest level. And you know who needs to admit that? Women. <laughs> Men. <laughs> Anybody on the internet who's trying to fight for equality and pay. Equal pay. No, ain't gonna ever be equal pay. But let's talk about the business because this is the way you close that gap. The NBA figured it out. NFL figured it out. Remember, Magic Johnson had a contract. It was 25 years, 25 million. Magic Johnson signed a 25-year, 25 million. That means busted down. That's a million a year, not 25 million a year. You can only address the problem when you address there's a problem. There's a problem with the WNBA. What are we going to say what it really is? 
And to me, it ain't. I've heard the tattoos. Uh, I heard it's lesbian. Uh, that don't matter. I don't care. Because there's a gay dude or two in football, and there's way more than in the closet. Point being, dog, knock his butt. I shouldn't have said that. Knock his ass. No, I shouldn't. <laughs> knock him out, right? Run around him. Score a touchdown. That's all I care about, dog. I don't care where you're going at 3.30 in the morning, and it ain't another woman. It's a man. Dog, you, you twist it. <laughs> and y'all need to stop that. Women in the WNBA take a pay cut. That's sad. And they lose popularity. Golly. What, what, let's all go together. This is my last point. What profession do you actually enter and things get worse for you? Like, can the clock make more money going to the big three? That ain't WNBA. That's a different thing. That's playing against dudes. And that's three on three. That ain't five on five. It's a whole different animal. What profession do you actually look forward to that's going to hurt you? That's going to be worse for you? That's wow. That's wow. Whew. Raise your daughters different. I, I am unabashed and, and, and was unapologetic, even though I hate that word because I use it wrong. Um, look, don't let your daughter. <laughs> let me see. In priority, raise your daughter to be a tennis player. In priority, raise your daughter to be a golfer. If you got options. Come on, we know how it goes. If you got one of them, don't lead them to this. Not yet. They got to fix this. And how they fix this? I, I went to one WNBA game, and I went with my daughter. No, I went to two. She went with one with me. Even she was like, because she went to UConn. She was like, Dad, I don't know what it is. I don't know what. I was like, what is it? We, I mean, there's like 97 people there. They got court size seats. But I'm like, who paying that? They must, they got to get them away. And we were just there and it was like, and we walked away because she went to a UConn and I went to a UConn game. God dang, it's lit. It's lit. And then I see that same person in the league and I'm like, this ain't it. This ain't it. I don't know. In the comments, please tell me how you fix the WNBA. And for real, like for real, don't give me like they lesbian, they got tattoos, they don't look cute. Or I've heard all of that. Y'all real? Do, do, does uh, UFC women look good and don't have tattoos? They got tattoos. They could be lesbian and they, they ain't on their best makeup day and hair day. And I'm watching that. <laughs> watching that so mm, I don't have all the answers duh but I certainly will ask all the questions <laughs> what the hell is WNBA stop playing and they talking about expanding I heard this 2028 they expanded to what remember in, in math this is my this is a good joke I'm gonna say it before I even say it. this is a good joke remember in math your teacher be like all right what's nine times zero you be like zero and they'd be like, all right, what's a million times zero? Zero. No matter what she said, times zero is zero. I love that. I remember that moment. I was like, damn, that's dope. Zero got power. <laughs> How are you going to expand from zero? Y'all going to have four more teams and y'all going to expand the league 2x, whatever it is. What's 2x times zero? God damn. I, I'm joking a little. For real, fix the WNBA. Why? I got two little daughters. And they ain't little. <laughs> Them suckers going to be big. I would like them to have one more option. That is real. That is viable. But that, and people are like, ah, the average American makes, what, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000? Yes. You ain't average. <laughs> you the number one pick in the damn draft. You ain't average. Stop comparing yourself to that. Get more. Get money. Get them with that Drake. Get money. Me, me talking. Get money.